Hello children, welcome back to second year. In our previous video, we completed the first module. The module is, the first module is uh, dancing in the rain and uh, I celebrate myself and the boy who broke the bank completed. Dancing in the Rain was written by Ajim Premji and I Celebrate Myself was written by Walt Whitman and The Boy Who Broke the Bank was written by Raskin Bond. So, we explained it clearly in our previous videos. Now, just discuss about the comprehensions from that lesson of The Boy Who Broke the Bank. Just have to finish that one now. Here, page number 22, I will read the paragraph carefully, just try to find out the correct answer please. I don't wish to talk about it, complained the sweeper boy, I haven't even received my regular pay. And this is the 20th of the month. Who would think a bank would hold up a poor man's salary? As soon as I get my money, I am off. Not another week, I work in this place and not bang the pan against the dustbin several times just to emphasize his point and giving himself confidence. It is the comprehension from the first short story. The boy who broke the bank. Already we discussed the topic. Now I am going to ask you some questions. Just find out the correct answer please. The first question is, what was the complaint of the sweeper boy? Is the first question. The second question is, where was the sweeper boy working and for whom? Third question, a bank would hold up a poor man's salary. Who is the poor man referred to here? Why did Nadu bang the pan against the dustbin? Fifth, give the synonym of the word salary from the passage. The sweeper is with the bank. So, is happy or satisfied or unhappy? Just think all these answers. I will explain you later. Yes. Now write the answers please. The first one is here. What was the complaint of the sweeper boy? So while you are writing the examination, you have to write the correct answer. Start in cap letter, end in full stop and whatever you asked, you have to write the relevant answer. Don't write irrelevant answers please. Here answer is he has not even received his regular pay. That is the answer. What was the question here? What was the complaint of the sweeper boy? Then your answer is, he has not even received his regular pay. That is the answer. And the second question is, where was the sweeper boy working and for whom? The question is, where was the sweeper boy working and for whom? He was working in Peepalnagar Bank as a sweeper. The answer is, he was working in, a, in Peepalnagar Bank as a sweeper is the right answer. Next question. A bank would hold up a poor man's salary. Who is the poor man referred to here? Here, the poor man refers whom? Nadu is the answer. While you are writing proper nouns, better to use the cap letter. Nadu is the right answer. Next question. Why did Nadu ban the pan against the dustbin? What is the reason? The answer is to emphasize his point and giving himself confidence. To emphasize his point and giving himself confidence. 
Next one. Give the synonym of the word salary from the passage. Synonym means what in Telugu? Same meaning word. Samanartha Palam. So, salary means wage or pay. The sweeper is dashed with the bank. So, what is the suitable answer here? Happy, satisfied or unhappy? The answer is unhappy. Let us see the answer please. First one, he has not even received his regular pay is the answer. The second answer is, he was working in people or bank as a sweeper is second one. And third answer is Nadu. And fourth answer is, to emphasize his point and giving himself confidence is right. And the fifth one, wage or pay. And the sixth one is unhappy. So 3.2, one comprehension completed. Now let us start 3.2.2. 3.2.2 Let's read the paragraph please. Observe the sentences carefully. A large sherry dominant tree grew at one end of the bazaar and it was here that Mrs. Sri Vastava found her friend Mrs. Bhushan sheltering from the heat. Mrs. Bhushan was fanning herself with a large handkerchief, she complained of the summer, which she affirmed was definitely the hottest in the history of Pipal Nagar. She then showed Mrs. Srivastava a sample of the cloth she was going to buy and for five minutes they discussed its shade, texture and design. Having exhausted this topic, Mr. Srivastava said, Do you know, my dear, that Seth Govindram Bank can't even pay its employees? Only this morning I heard a complaint from their sweeper who has not received his wages for over a month. It is the comprehension. Now the questions are given like this. The first question is, what was there at the end of the bazaar? Very simple and very easiest question it is. Where did Mrs. Srivastava find her friend? Third question. What was Mrs. Bhushan doing there and why? What was Mrs. Bhushan going to buy? They didn't talk much about the color, quality, etc. of that cloth. Say true or false? Next, name the place where the above meeting took place. Just try to find the answers, please. Just one minute. Yes, let us start the answers please. The first one. What was there at the end of the bazaar? So the answer is. Can you guess what about that one? A large shady tamarind tree is the answer. Just you should write like this. A large shady tamarind tree is the answer. Where did Mrs. Srivastava find her friend? Your answer is. Come on, at the tamarind tree. Again, what was Mrs. Bhushan doing there and why? What was Mrs. Bhushan doing there and why? So the answer is, she was sheltering from heat as it was summer. She was sheltering from heat as it was summer. Next question. What was Mrs. Bhushan going to buy? She was going to buy a cloth. Answer is, 
she was going to buy a cloth they didn't talk much about the color quality etc of that cloth said true or false it is false last question name the place where the above meeting took place in pipal nagar bank yeah. or at a large tamarind tree at the end of the bazaar is right answer or some members may write like this in pipal nagar also no problem but you have write the relevant answer is at the large tamarind tree at the end of the bazaar is the answer okay so the last paragraph we will continue next class